you know, the plan is to kind of hold back a little bit on the bike, which is easier said than done, I think, when people start passing you. Do you go with them? Don't you go with them? Uh, so that's the, the upfront plan, but during the race that might change. Uh, so that I can have a strong a strong run. I mean, you, you can see it countless races that, that people come back in that last three, four miles and all of a sudden they're passing everyone. And it's like, it doesn't matter what's happening at mile three of the run, it matter, matters at mile 13.1, you know? So it's hard to get that in your head sometimes, even with as much experience as a lot of us have, to kind of have that patience to just know that it will come right in the end. I actually think that would be great for me if I had someone to catch, uh, or if it was close, because I'm a good downhill runner. Um, I can really, my leg speed's super, super high, and coming from hill running background in Scotland, I'm used to just absolutely caning it downhill, so I think that would be good for me, actually. Uh, obviously, in the other laps, the hardest thing is all of the, the pounding that will go on in your, your quads and whatnot. With the downhill, then flipping a U and then hitting the hill back up, that's going to be a bear. So uh, by, the time, by the time I get to the last time down that hill, I'm going to be pretty happy. <laughs>